All right, today's big eye, turning green goo into black gold. A company called Origin Oil says it's figured out a way to convert algae into oil that's more efficient than other methods have ever been. I'm joined now by Riggs Eckleberry. He's the CEO of Origin Oil. Uh, Riggs, thank you for joining us. You, are you with us? Yes, Ali, thank you. All right, we, we, I can hear you, and you're going to show up in a second. In the meantime, you've got this remarkable tech. There you go. Good to see you. Excellent haircut. Uh, Riggs, Thank you. this is an interesting concept. First of all, just give us a little bit of history. There's, there's been a movement for some time to turn algae into oil. Uh, I, I suppose it's a good way to understand what oil is in the first place, right? It, it's kind of the same stuff. Algae, many, many millions of years ago, actually came about to solve the CO2 problem the planet had back then. Uh, vast amounts of algae were created, uh, subsequently died and uh, later became petroleum. So we're really using that ancient algae as petroleum today. Is there enough algae to make this worthwhile? Is there enough algae in the world? <laughs> uh, well, there's a lot of algae in the world, but we plan to make it in uh, industrial process systems in big tanks, you might say, uh, close to CO2 emitters. So imagine a power plant, a coal-fired power plant that's putting out a lot of CO2, we can suck up that CO2 with a huge algae system right next to it that, that continuously creates algae. All right, and how, uh, you've got some new news here. You've got a, a way that is gonna, you're gonna unveil that's gonna make this very, very efficient and, and scalable and usable. Tell us about this. Well, we've got, uh, our, our, our big, big news all along has been that we can, algae lives in a lot of water. So people have thought algae was a great fuel all along, but it's, lot, it's like Kool-Aid, and how do you get the Kool-Aid out of the water, that's a big challenge, and nobody had that solution until very recently. We now can crack the oil from the algae without having to remove the water. So that's a, that's a big breakthrough. And of course, we've, we've a, done a lot of other breakthroughs. Sorry, go ahead. Read. No, please go ahead, Ali. All right, we've, got, we've just been running a video here that I want to show our, our viewers uh, that has a bit of a process on it, so you can just give us a, 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 you know, the, the kind of explanation that, that I'd be able to understand on what you actually do with this algae that makes it into, into oil. Sure. So what you're watching is a time lapse of about an hour after we've done our little process. And what we do is a combination of ultrasound and electrical pulses to essentially uh, crack the algae cell, which is microscopic, and force it to let go of its little droplet of oil. And of course the oil rises to the top and the biomass goes to the bottom and then it's very easy to pull out the different layers and now you've got your oil. And your biomass is also extremely useful either as a fuel or as fertilizer or livestock feed. Riggs, what is this, this oil that you, you extract? What is it like? Is it like crude oil? Is it, is it something else? We call it uh, straight vegetable oil because it literally is a high polyunsaturated uh, vegetable oil, very healthy for you, in fact. Uh, it's also useful, of course, for plastics, uh, varnishes, fuel, many, many uh, hundreds of uses, actually. But you do with it what you do with oil. In other words, you can refine it or distill it into different uh, forms, depending on what use you, you want to achieve? Well, we like to, you know, to call it um, crude without the tar, because this is, you know, algae became crude, by, through fossilization, so it became mineral. Today, we've got oil that's veget vegetal, right. and that means it doesn't have all those heavy metals and so on, or the tar. How, how, how big can this become? How much, I mean, is it, is it possible that we're going to see either on restaurant menus or at gas stations that we're getting uh, fuel or, or oil from algae? The, well, I'm not going to talk about whether algae is going to be a food for the world. I think that's for, uh, for macro uh, forecasters. But what we see is the, the tremendous uh, ability of algae to suck up vast amounts of CO2, which of course is being emitted everywhere. So we will see a, a movement towards algae systems being located all over the world, wherever uh, CO2 is being emitted and creating energy at those locations. You're talking about a phenomenal distributed energy uh, trend that I think is going to transform the energy picture over the next 10, 15 years. All right, doing two things at the same time, cleaning up some CO2 and uh, creating some energy. Riggs, uh, we'll follow this very closely. Good to have you on the show. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Ali. Riggs Eckleberry is the CEO of Origin Oil.